Week eight. Can you believe it? We're into week eight of the Body by JR Full Fitness Challenge. This is it, the finale week of the challenge set eight weeks ago. And today is workout number one of two of the week. It is chilly in the year, so we do need to get warm. But before we get warm, please let me know that you can hear and see me okay, as that would be fab before I carry on talking and none of you actually know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, so let me know. Oh, wow. I actually can't believe how time just flies by. Certainly does, doesn't it? How are we all? Is it all good? Ah, oh, amazing. Good morning, Alice. Welcome. So this is it, the finale week of the eight week full fitness challenge um, that we put together. And today's workout, good morning, is Tabata. It's a weighted Tabata. And I'll tell you something now, Ray has planned this one. I said to him, Ray, give me your input today. And um, I said it's going to be the final Tabata of Body by JR TV on YouTube as well, because after this week, the app from January so um, I'm sure he's made it into a good one if you've got a fitness watch please turn it on now Let's start getting warm and then we will go through the final Tabata emotional times please like the video give a thumbs up let's get warm jogging on the spot so yeah after this week body by JR TV on YouTube ends I might go on twice a month on live on YouTube um, to make people remember where we are uh, and show you some content into squats um, but all the workouts will be going through the app from January having a few weeks off in December to film all the content for you just to sort of get ahead of the game a little bit and into our agile workouts, feet hip apart. We come all the way down, big stretch through. Yeah, can't believe we've been nearly three years. Up to our feet. Ray said to me this morning, this will be the last week of you going out there early in the cold. You can go out there when you want to go out there. <laughs> but I actually um, I don't mind it. I, I love coming up here and Having that time, <laughs> right, arm right leg, open up that hip. What we're gonna do is bring that arm down, elbow to the floor, and then straight back up again, okay? One more time. And up, and then change. Stretch up, bring it down. Good, let's do it one more time. So bring that leg through, arm goes up, elbow to the floor, and then again. And change. Bring it through. Big stretch. Good. Into mountain climbers, knees to chest. And up to our feet. Legs go wide. Into those cross out squats. Warming everything up. Do do do. Good, two more coming low. And with the uh, new workouts through the app, you'll see Ray again. Ray's going to be doing them with me. Into squats, so down, reach to the sky. Maybe not all of them, but we'll be back together. And then lunges, knees to floor. Twisty, twisty. And change. Good, and again. One more. Good, and stop. Shake it out, shake it all about. Do the yoga coke Right, quick sip of coffee. So, today's workout, weighted Tabata. We have got six rounds of four minutes. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, work rest ratio. Two exercises in each round, um, all weighted. Everything's weighted. No body weight, everything's weighted today, okay? Um, low impact options will be given where needed, but to be honest with you, like I say, most of it you can, we can all do together, okay? So, let's do this. 
We're going to be working the full body from head to toe. First round is more upper body. Um, then we're going to go into a bit of full body and then a bit of lower, full, upper. You know the jig. We just follow everything, okay? First exercise, we have got an Arnold press. So with your weights, um, try and challenge yourself with these weights. Obviously, we're only working for 20 seconds, um, but we want to get as many reps in as we can during that time. First exercise is going to be an Arnold press. So here, coming up around like this. Okay, so 10 second countdown, let's do it. So weights like this, space on the screen, in four seconds, three, two, let's go. So up like this, ever so slight bend in the knees if you need to, but you wanna make it quite a strict press, okay? Coming from the front, round to the top, and again. Keep it going, five seconds. Second exercise, bent under row, hinging at the hips, big pull back. Okay, five seconds, get ready. All oh, these dumbbells are freezing. <laughs> Let's go, big pull back, big squeeze. Good, imagine you've got someone putting their arms or hand in between your shoulder blades and we squeeze it back, less than 10. Keep it going, keep it going. Three seconds. And stop. Good stuff. So those are your two. Back to the arm press. Get yourself ready. You can have a staggered stance if you want. In three, two, one. So here and down. Okay. Big push up. Ten. Keep it going, keep it going. Five. Good stuff. Ooh, bent over rows should be getting a little bit warmer. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Big pull back. Big squeeze. You got it, come on. Keep it going. 10. Five seconds, few more. Good stuff, two down, two to go. Get them weights back up again. Nice, easy start. Three, two, off we go. Up. Good, keep it going. 10 seconds, come on. Five. Lovely stuff. Then over rows, get yourself ready. Three seconds. Two. Yeah. Pull back, okay? Big stretch with the arm. Fully extend, elbows close to the body. Big pull back. Keep it going. Good stuff. One more round. One more round. Ready? Three seconds. Two. Off we go. So here, big push up. Fifteen seconds. Keep it going. Ten. Big push. Five. Nice. Been over right the final time, okay? Three seconds, get yourself ready. Up we go. Big pull back. Final time. Fully extend. Keep it going, five seconds. Shake it out. One round down. Nice. Oh my God, my fingers though. Feel like I need proper gloves. Then dumbbells are like ice cold. It's fine. Wakey, wakey. Okay. Hang squat cleans and thrusters. 
Round number two. So what we're going to do is we hang through the legs, we do a front squat, um, and then back together. Uh, I lied. Hang outside the legs, bring the legs out, squat, and bring the legs back together. So hang outside the legs, squat, and back together. Then we've got thrusters. So big squat down, big push to the sky. Okay, you know what to do with the T word. Get yourself ready. Round number two of six. Ready? Ten seconds. Watch carefully. Not that I know that I'm what I'm doing, do I? <laughs> Three, one. So hang, squat, bring the leg back together. Okay? You can change leg if you want. Oh, it's going to be nice with thrusters. Good stuff. Now we've got thrusters, okay? Debate on whether to use this weight or not. We'll give it a try. Three seconds. Two. Off we go. Oosh. Come on. Ten. Keep it going. Woo! Understand? Yeah. That's that first one. Ready? Hang them outside the legs. Let's go hang. Squat. Together. Woo! Tell you what, going up a weight gets that heart rate. Right up, five seconds. Oh wow, getting warm now. Frosters. Come on, let's do it. Off we go. Squat down, push through the ceiling, not literally, but you know what I mean. 10 seconds. different. Okay, back to that first exercise. Off we go. Hang, squat, and clean, okay? Woo! Okay, process. We can do this. Three seconds. Two. Let's go. Big push. Ten. Come on. Drop. Oh wow, one more round to go, okay? We're ready to go. 
Round number three, we've got a push press. So, the first exercise we did was an Arnold press. We're now doing a very similar movement, just a dip in the knees and pushing it straight above the head. Gosh, shoulders are feeling that though from the ambassadors. Definitely gonna be feeling it now. Then we put the weights on our shoulders and we do front squats, okay? So, push press to start with. Okay, I shall show you all. Woo if you've got heavy weights, start picking them up. You can do it. Okay, we're doing a push press to start. Get yourself ready. Two. So here, ever so slight dip in the knees, big power up. Like this, okay? 10 seconds. Five. Good stuff. We're going to go into front squats. So put them weights on our shoulders. Squat it down as low as we can. Ready? Off we go. So down, push the bum back, drive straight up, okay? Doesn't matter if your toes are slightly pointed out. You don't have to squat with your toes pointing forward. Everyone's knees are going to be different, how they're aligned and what way they want to turn. As long as your heels aren't coming off the floor and your knees aren't over your toes, absolutely fine. Maybe take a wider stance if, you, if they are. Ready? Let's do it. So here, big push up. Slight bend in the knees. Power it up. 10 seconds. Woo! Drop. Good. So what you don't want to do with that front squat, you squat down and your heels are coming off the floor and your knees are over your toes. Push your bum right back. Here. Drive it up, okay? Bum comes down low. Push the floor away with your feet. Heels down, drive through the glutes. Squeeze it up. Three to go. Get yourself ready. Three seconds. Off we go. Power up. Drive it. Ten seconds. Come on. Five seconds. front squats, get yourself ready, three, two, let's do it, bum back, squeeze it up, you got it, you got it, ten, come on, keep it going, five, good, final squat, okay, See how I'm switching between weights? Obviously, if you've only got one pair at home, let's do it, okay? Then you can't obviously change it up. But if you're gonna do these home workouts and there's something you value, gets you in shape, keeps you in shape, you're gonna wanna invest in that change of weight and intensity. because you can definitely front squat more than you can push press, okay? Get yourself ready, off we go. And by increasing that intensity, which is the weight lifted, you're gonna see more results, okay? Keep it going, less than 10. Um, 
Right, we've got hand and snatch you. So with a hand and snatch, we hang through the legs and then we snatch in one movement all the way to the top. So when you do something called a hand clean jerk, you hang and you get that clean movement in it. With a snatch, it's one movement to, a to the top. So you hang and you get the weight's power through the hips straight to the top. We're not stopping here and then pushing it up, okay? Don't waste that time, get them all the way up. Again, a movement you can go heavier with because you've got that drive. Then we've got sumo deadlift. So feet are gonna go wide, we touch the floor, or certainly as low as we can with the weight. All in the glutes here, keeping that back straight, squeezing up. You're not going over, you're simply coming down and straight back up again, okay? So we're gonna start with our hand snatches. Don't know if I did this a second ago. But we'll reset the time up anyway. <laughs> okay, get yourself ready. Hang snatching, okay? Let's do it. So power through the hips, all the way to the top. Woohoo! Come on, power it up. Ten. Okay, going to our sumos. Five seconds. Three seconds, get yourself ready. Two. And off we go. So here, drive it up, coming as low as you can to the floor, squeezing the glutes at the top. Good. Ten seconds. Keep it going. Five. Three. Good. Back to our hand snatches, okay? Get yourself ready. Four. Getting warm now. Go. All the way to the top. Through the hips. Big snatch. Power it up. Come on, ten. Three. Drop. Good, back to those sumos. Get yourself ready. Four, three, two, one. Good, squeeze it up. Come in low. Drive it, drive it. Ten. Come on. Drop. Halfway, okay? So, so far, all of low impact have been able to do what high impact are doing. Let's go. Power it up. So, we all should be working together. Ten. Full body workout, high volume to barter. Five seconds. Good stuff. That's then two miles, okay? Get yourself ready. Three, two, go. And if you haven't got heavier weight, you can certainly move faster. So you can get more repetitions in that time because the weight isn't as challenging, but it's certainly still going to be challenging by getting more in. So you've got lots of different variables that you can play around with. All right, one more set. Let's do it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And that's where as well a lot of people are a little bit naive to training because they expect a new training plan every like three to four weeks. But if you play around with the variables, the weight lifted, reps, sets, rest time, where the progression happens. If you're on the same weight in a strength program for four weeks, there hasn't been progression. So you've got to progress with that strength, even if it's by going up by a kilo. And strength takes time. A strength training program, you want to be on for about eight to 12 weeks before another phase, which I know can get tedious, but at the end of the day, a squat's a squat. Deadlift's a deadlift. Been around for many years. Rest. 
that's all the pavement on your training, okay? Or you've got these high intensity workouts, you're going to create a lot more volume, okay? Mixture of both, bop your ankle, you know, okay? What have we got now? Round number five, devil press. So this is the only exercise that low impact we will adapt and then a renegade row. So a devil press, what we should all know by now is where we collapse on the floor, jump in, and then we snatch above the head, okay? Low impact, I want you to do deadlifts. So here, touching the floor, driving straight back up. Second exercise are our renegade rows. So here, body weight over the shoulders, we row into the hips, take a wide stance. If you need to, drop to the knees, roll it up, okay? Those are your two exercises. So, get yourself ready. 10 second countdown. Then we'll press the start, low impact deadlifts, okay? Let's do it. So straight back down, all the way to the top. Come on. Woo! Okay, so we've got a few of them in. That's fine. We can work quickly. We're going to go. Get ready. Three, two, and off we go. So take a wide start. Put into the hips. Keeping that core tight. All the way in 20 seconds. Good stuff. Okay. That's the devil's dead this low impact. Four, three, two. Let's do it. Come on. You got it, come on. Good stuff. So is that ready row position? Remember, drop to your knees if you have to. Three seconds, get ready. Let's do it. Come on. Keep moving, keep that core tight, good stuff. Devil press, halfway, okay, two more rounds, get ready, three, two, off we go. Come on, power to the top, all the way down, you got it. Come on. 
Let's up, guys. Woo, rest. Are we warm? We should be. Please remember to like the video if you haven't already. We've got one more round left, that is it. One more round in four minutes, okay? Definitely a full body weighted workout, which is fab. So the two exercises we have remaining are a hand clean jerk. So remember a couple of rounds ago, I said to you about the snatch is one movement to the top. The hand clean and jerk is where we get the clean in. So we hang through the legs, we clean it, slight bend in the knees, and then power to the top, okay? We've then got skiers. So we come in side of the body, hinging at the hips, a bit like a swing, but outside the body here, squeezing glutes at the top, okay? Depending on your posterior chain, if you prefer swinging through the legs, absolutely fine. Um, but if you can, do it outside, okay? Woo, let's do it, let's get this in already. Swinging outside the legs is um, a little bit harder because obviously you haven't got the momentum from the swing of the hips, it's more the outside. So, see how you feel. Let's do it. So we hang, we clean it up, and we jerk to the top, okay? Like this. Come on, 10. Five. Good stuff. So into them skiers. Now, truth, I actually don't like skiers. I find them, I don't know, just a weird exercise. Let's go. But in life, you have to do things you don't like. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't not like them. They're all right, there's worse, I'm sure. But um, I wouldn't choose a skier. I would definitely choose a burping over a skier. I know some of you are like, what the hell? But it's fine, we've got to do things that we don't like doing, right? So I will do it. <laughs> Let's go. Hang, clean, jerk. Come on, final round. You got it. Hang, clean it up. Big push to the top. Come on, five. Good. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this one, but I'll do it. Ball says so. Okay. Hinge at the hips. Squeeze up. Use the momentum from the hips. And the arms just follow. Ten. Keep it going. Good, two more rounds to go, okay? Again, low impact, you can do everything that we're doing. The only one that I had to modify was the devil press. Ready? Let's go. Clean it up. Big jerk to the top. Come on, we're almost there now. Ten. Keep it going. Good stuff. Back to skiers. Three seconds, get yourself ready. Let's do it. Swing through. Come on, you got it. Ten seconds. Go, go, go. Five. Push. Stop. One more round, guys. One more round of the first workout of week eight. Woohoo! Let's do it. Come on. Big push to the top. You got it. Come on. Good stuff. Is it the last skiers? Four seconds. Three, two, here we go. Come on. Squeeze it up, squeeze it up. Ten. 
Ten. Come on. Five. There you go. Woohoo! Amazing. Really well done, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Um, that was good. That was a good little blast, wasn't it? Woohoo! And I know the festivities have begun, well, they certainly have in my social calendar. Um, but it's really important just to have, find that balance in your head. But just keep moving, like you don't need to restrict things, you don't need to um, feel guilty, you don't need to go from one extreme to another. Just enjoy and embrace the time, but at the same time, be realistic. If you're going to be consuming more calories, you obviously need to, and you don't want to put on loads of weight, you've obviously got to um, burn more, like calories in versus calories out. Um, so just keep active. Like, don't just think, oh, do you know what, stuff it, December's here, I've got this, this, and this, and this. What's the point in doing my training? Even more reasons to do your training, okay? And then when you train as well, you get more hungry, um, you keep fit, etc. So you're not gonna experience that weight gain to an extent of what it could have been by keeping yourself active. Like, I know full and well, I've eaten so much cake this weekend, I don't actually think I'm gonna see another birthday cake for a while. Like, I've eaten so much cake. It was absolutely amazing. I'm not gonna feel bad about it, I'm just gonna keep moving. So, please, up here. It's all about up here. Have a fantastic day, guys. Please like the video, the little thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, this is week eight of our Body by JR Full Fitness Challenge. From January, all our workouts, we are gonna be on demand via our app, okay? Which I'll put the link in this video. So make sure if you've been valuing these workouts and you feel that you need us, just like we need you, then come on board from our app, which you'll get meal tracking as well. So everything in one, okay? So I'm gonna stay and do some stretches. If you are gonna shoot, I will see you on Wednesday for the big finale. <gasps> right, let's do it. Let's do our hip flexors. Stretch them out. Big push through. Bless little Amelia. So she had, she, her birthday is actually tomorrow. She's three tomorrow. But um, we had a party on Saturday. And then we had a friend's party yesterday. So uh, I think she just thinks it's her birthday every day. And then it's Ray's birthday on Thursday. And we said, oh, it's Daddy's birthday this week. She said, no, I'm Amelia's birthday. Bless her. She's at a lovely little age. Obviously, next year she'll probably understand even more. But, um, yeah, it's, it's quite magical seeing the development between a two and three year old. It's quite scary, actually, how much they do develop. And then push back. Pull that foot towards you. And little Jude, he'll be nine months next week. Nine months. Where has that time gone? He doesn't have a clue, bless him. Doesn't have a clue about the crazy family he's been brought into, <laughs> jumping around. Keep your knees as close as you can together. And then change. Oh, big balance. Good, put that foot in. Body. Chin to chest, rounding the back off. Yeah, I had cake for breakfast, like yesterday. And then I had more cake at the party. And I had cake before I went to bed. <laughs> and then I ate in between that as well. <laughs> Lots of cake. Just in fruit. <sighs> All right then, good stuff guys. Have a fantastic day and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye!